Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And as we look at uh, the latest build um, for the insiders, that is technically 22H2 now, um, there's going to be probably a long road to go because uh, a lot of people are reporting all sorts of little details here of problems uh, on 22581. I personally have not had any problems, and of course, this is still a long way before the release, and that's why now it's being tested uh, with the insiders. Now, there is a reference of 22H2 that I did actually find. Um, you know, I've got the uh, Intel driver um, support mechanic thing. And uh, it's interesting because as I was checking for... Um, support on the system. Here you see that the operating system reference is definitely version build 22H2 uh, for 10.0.2251, which means it is already recognized by systems as a 22H2 uh, build or the next version of Windows 10. So pretty much um, you know, there could be some features added till then, but pretty much this is what we're going to get as a update uh, for the fall. So uh, a few little things, including folders that you can rename for the icons, uh, stuff like that. Uh, you could see here there's kind of a, you know, little promotion, bing kind of thing going on in the, uh, in the search here, Kawachi Fuji Garden. Uh, you know, uh, it's kind of, yeah, okay. But um, overall, uh, this is pretty much what's going to happen this fall, what we have here. Uh, so there are a few things, and we're going to look at them um, as time goes by. There could be new stuff added. Uh, there is, of course, some stuff here that you can uh, check out. And uh, there's, of course, the weather panel that has this, but uh, the weather panel is already in the regular version. So there are things that are going to be in the regular versions already, um, including some apps, but uh, new stuff like the, the folders. Now, what they don't address, and this is interesting because I think one of the biggest focus of Windows 11 and the most demanded features are not still not going to be there and and some of them are for example the famous customization of the um you know start menu and the fact that you might want to remove the recommended section and if you do so then that space should be empty and given back so that the start menu is smaller and the customization of all of this is still missing a lot of things um so you know as as good as it could be and and as you know a new version of windows 11 of course kind of version 2.0 um it's still missing a lot of things people are asking for and that is definitely something that is a problem um so we're gonna have to check that out because uh, even though they did make some of the things a little better, uh, some of the context menus and all of that. There are still a lot of things not addressed in here, including also the taskbar that you can't move and, uh, you know, taskbar menu. I, I don't have much of a problem with the taskbar menu because I'm totally used to going right-click the start button now for my menu. But uh, there are things also missing from some of the menus and some of the options in uh, the settings app uh, so overall even though there are some advances and some new features there's also a lot missing yet and we're hoping that maybe even though it's being tested that some of these features that we're waiting for might be added in the next version this fall so definitely it's going to be an advantage. There's going to be some new things, but still, I think there's going to be a lot of people that are not going to be happy with the stuff still missing. Uh, lots of people are having issues on 22.581. I've seen a higher number of people than usual with 
all sorts of little problems here and there and what uh, they do and how they use it. Uh, error messages, uh, some have blue screens, some have some features that just don't work right or don't work at all. So that's going to be, of course, fixed over the next builds. And that means that in the next um, few weeks, probably we're going to have like, you know, 22, five, 20, builds for 22H2 on the beta channel and dev together. And then at some point, uh, dev channel is going to go on its own and once again have new things. Remember that it's the time to move from dev channel to beta now. And from there, you'll be able to go to release preview uh, if you want to get out at some point from the testing phase here of the uh, insider builds. But uh, I think if nothing more is added or not much more, there's still going to be a lot of people wanting features again with the next update this fall. Uh, we would have thought a lot of that would have been addressed, but there's there's definitely missing stuff still. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.